Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNut and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. We're gonna continue the main quest in uh, this episode. So, uh, we're at the end of where Durval uh, attacked Meridian and now we actually have the opportunity to have a little chat with the man. It is marked as optional, so I'm gonna talk to him first because I'm wondering what he has to say for himself. Come to gloat, Nora. Well, as you can see, I'm busy. You are? So that was it apparently. Okay, thought that was gonna be a bit more, uh, a bit more intriguing than that. Sadly, sadly, Durval disappointed. Now we're gonna head towards the palace because um, over there we're gonna have to talk to Erend and Avald and see no, if we can't finish up this quest line. I don't even know if this goes any further. So I might have stopped this prematurely to go off to the uh, Pharaoh. Uh, Automated solution quest, so where we uh, learn more about the corruptors and dead bringers and uh, the past, how uh, Elizabeth Sobek fit into things. But who knows? Maybe this goes further as well. I don't know. You don't know. Well, you might actually know if you uh, completed this game already. But hello, Aaron. Hey, boy. I was just thinking about Ursa. She would have killed Durval on the spot. I know it. That's why she went out to meet him in the first place to put him down. But she also told me to grow up. I gotta admit it burned a little when she said that, but I'm trying to take it to heart. Good man. And I guess growing up means putting what you should do in front of what you want to do. Right? <laughs> that is something to yeah, live by. You're asking me? I'm pretty sure you're older. <laughs> yeah, but I don't act like it, do I? You did with Durval. Now, don't give me too much credit. Part of me still wants to wait for a quiet moment and wring his neck. Yeah, but you won't. Because you're a good captain. Come on, stop. You're gonna make me tear up. So, uh, yeah, what now? I do think Aloy looks awesome in that armor. I'm glad I finally have it. So, after all this, what's next for Erend Vanguardsman? Uh, heading back to the claim for a while. I'll get in touch with my clan and we'll lay Ursa to rest properly. Like how she would have wanted. And by that I mean less chit-chat. More drinking. Sounds like her, all right. And what about Durval? What do you think the Osirim will do to Durval? First off, they'll argue about it for a long time. But whatever they come up with, it won't be quick. Oof. I can live with that. Yeah. Probably. In fact, I might just drop by his cell under the sun ring to remind him what's coming. Hopefully he doesn't get out by that time, but well, goodbye, Arend. I know. You gotta go. Killers to track, machines to master, all before breakfast. You know what? When we met, I thought I was a big shot talking to a pretty girl hidden away in the middle of nowhere. Yes, indeed, now you told you that were. I was just lucky to get a minute of your time. Huh. Wow. Try not to forget That's about That's one me. hell of a compliment. You're out there changing the world. I'll always have a minute for you. Maybe even two. Two. Huh. Well, she likes me. <laughs> Maybe we do, Aaron. Maybe we do. Okay, and then uh, let's go talk to the king himself and see what he has to say. And I kind of feel like we're wrapping things up in Meridian. Sadly, but... Hello, Avald. Let's hear it. Aloy. To say you have my gratitude feels woefully insufficient. You saved my life. You saved Meridian. And because of you, there will be justice for Ursa's murder. We can mourn her knowing the truth without painful uncertainty. It's hard to imagine where we'd be without you. And I don't want to try. I hope you will consider staying in Meridian. Well, we have kind of led the life on the... Well, a traveling life uh, for now, so we might just keep going, but how do you uh, handle Ursa's death? Were you and Ursa, you know? I suppose it's obvious how I feel, how I felt about her. She didn't just give me advice. She gave me strength. But we couldn't be together. 
Relations between the Karja and Osaram and Meridian were unsteady as it was. The union of the Sun King and an Osaram warrior would have led to open revolt in the city. And probably war with the clans. Or it could have reunited the clans. Derval. He wanted Ursa, but she rejected him. And so jealousy became yet another of his hateful motivations. Okay, what about Durval? What exactly will happen to Durval? For now, he'll languish in one of the old cells under the Sunring here in Meridian. As for what happens after we negotiate his expedition to Mainspring, I don't want to think about it. My father was very creative when it came to inflicting suffering. But some Asaram devices surpass even his imaginings. Indeed. Well, Especially West. Durval's uh, tinkering. Durval is a brilliant man. I wonder what he would have accomplished if it weren't for my father's cruelty. Yeah, indeed, because cruelty breeds cruelty, and Durval is the perfect example of that. But do you know anything about the Eclipse, by I the way? I attacked the Nora. A faction of Shadow Karja called the Eclipse. They're digging up ancient machines, weapons they want to use to strike Meridian. I see. What you're saying echoes whispers I've heard from Marad. A Shadow Karja splinter group. Corrupted machines across the land. When will the attack come, do you know? I'm not sure yet. And we will do what we can to prepare. Keep me informed if you learn more. We most definitely will. Uh, there was something else we could talk about, right? Shall we talk some more? Yeah, uh, consider staying. Why do you want me to stay in Meridian? I would think that would be obvious. Yeah, I think it is. Not to me. Huh. Well, to start with, you kept the city from going up in flames. You were strong, shrewd, and, and capable. Saved Meridian from its foe. I could Trophy. use someone like you at my side. Don't get like you used Ursa. <laughs> I'm not a substitute indeed. Um, I need to go my own way. Thank you for the offer, but I don't think either you or I are ready for that. At least, not yet. I've got a long way to go before I find what I'm looking for, and it's going to take me far from Meridian. Uh, of course. I, I didn't mean to presume. You are your own woman. Just as Ursa was. This journey just turned really, really creepy. Remember that you're always welcome here. I hope that today is just a sunrise for us. Not a goodbye. Why are you whispering? Oh, hey. I have to go. Goodbye, Avald. I understand. So that, yeah. That just ended that quest. So, the only main quest that's left, I think, is the Curse of the Darkness. To curse the darkness, not the Curse of the Darkness. To curse the darkness. So, well then. Since we only just started the episode, that's exactly where we're going to head. So I guess I'll see you guys close to the location that Silence has indicated. Ooh, we're in a thick jungle at the moment. And I'm wondering if I can just override this. I think it's a Ravager. I think it is. So now he should turn on his fellow machines. He's going to be mad. And then this guy should attack them, right? Oh, 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 oh. Yep. Wow. He just took them out. There's a dead fire bellow back here. On top of a corpse. What the hell happened here? There's a lot of people dead here. I'm just going to loot everything. So we're on our way, but it's uh, pretty far away from the location that Silence has indicated. And uh, at the moment we have this lovely Ravager to protect us. Although I think it's a Ravager. No, it's a Sawtooth. Never mind. It's just as deadly. Mine is the cannon. I'm just going to leave that over there. And continue on our way. Although look at this. Come on. I feel like I'm in the jungle. 
This is an open world game, mind you, with a jungle this detailed. I mean, I feel like I'm really, really here. Just gonna quickly activate that. It's really full of what the hell? Why is that? Oh. Um. I was gonna say, why is that marker up there? But there's a building up there. How the hell am I gonna reach that? Okay, being harassed by a long lag. Skillfully dismantle this thing. As always. It's gonna start attacking my strider. There we go. Taken care of. And... Oh. Didn't really mean to do that, because I've seen a stalker on the other side of the river. And that's actually the final creature I need to kill. Um, so yeah, just dismount. Dismount, thank you. I've seen it. I know I've seen it. He might be gone now, but he... Oh, shit. He probably went invisible, didn't he? Where is he? Here we go again. Ah, oh, damn it! I know he. There he is. Oh shit! There we go! Down for the count! Stalker trophy! And that's all we needed to do for hunting for the Lord. So, uh, probably gonna have to wait until next episode. And maybe even after this one. After the next one. Because, uh, I don't know how big this place is gonna be. How the hell do I need to climb? Oh, wow. I do need to climb. Why did I even override that strider? This is gonna be... Is there still something trying to attack me? No, I don't think there is. Okay, then. See you guys at the top. I think we're here. We're almost there. Oh, shit. This is not just a building. This is a Karja fort. Oh, that is a problem. Where? Oh, I'm not where I need to be. Oh, wait. Is this guy hostile? He doesn't seem to be. Okay. These guys are friends. Never mind. Evening's sign. Interesting. So just, uh... Just a normal Karja fort then. I... You wouldn't think I just went really, really high, but if you look at this, this gorgeous vista, look at that. That's where I came from. Been one hell of, one hell of a climb, so uh, I'm going to continue with my journey, and I guess I'll see you guys over there somewhere in that ominous, ominous canyon. Aloy, you're very close now. Hello, Silence. When you'd speak up. There's a sheer rock wall just ahead. Look close, and you'll find handholds leading up. Oh, really? And who put those there, hmm? Where do we... Are we going over there? Right. Why would I expect an answer? It's so much more exciting to keep it all a mystery. But well, it's more exciting for us, Aloy. Said. So how are we going to do that? Oh, wait. I forgot. We won't. I do all the dangerous stuff. You just listen in. Ooh, Aloy's a bit... A bit cranky. Let's... We need to check up on the merch. I'm just gonna quickly do that. There we go. Bought a few potions as well and cleared out my inventory just a little bit. And now we should be able to head up there. Although I don't really know what up there means. Do we need to... I'm gonna assume it's over there, but... The marker points me in this direction for some reason. Because it was a site that... Um, shot off satellite, so... That kind of looks like it. So yeah, there are the handholds. 
I need to use to climb up. Handholds, right where you said they'd be. Did you get that silence? No. Fitting name you got there. <laughs> Finally, she acknowledges the name. Is yeah, right. indeed. He's what called now? Silence because he doesn't say much. That's what. Take a seat at the campfire and rest. What night falls, we'll talk. <sighs> at least I'll have a fire to keep me company. Oh. How nice of you to finally drop by. Our purpose this night is to crash the focus network. Yeah, tell me the part I don't know. How? For starters, you'll need to infiltrate the Eclipse's main base. Wait, what? That's right. Fortunately for you, I brought you around to the back way. It's right through that crevice. Once you reach the base, you'll see the objective. A derelict tall neck that's been extensively modified. Climb the tall neck. Grafted into the top of its disc, you'll find a module of sorts. Destroy that, and the focus network will crash. Okay. So you were part of the eclipse. I've never been part of anything. I serve my own interests always. But it is the case that I assisted the eclipse before I sensed the threat they might become. It was a mistake that I'm doing what I can to correct. What sort of assistance did you give them? Head through that crevice, Aloy. You have more important things to do than ask questions. Yeah, bye. Questions can always be uh, useful. Oh my god, I love that armor. She looks so awesome in that armor. Okay, let's head through here. I also modified the armor a bit to have a bit more stealth uh, improving. Corrupted machines. Control them like guards. More like soldiers. Held in reserve for war yet to come. Ah, stab. The back way in. I didn't say it'd be easy. Yeah, he didn't. That's that's right, he didn't. I don't think I can kill a long leg in one hit. That was the wrong watcher I wanted to pull. Just gonna kill all of them. Oh, sh fuck you. I'm gonna need my firebombs. There we go. How the hell did that hit me from that far away? Man, these watchers are tough. Burn, baby, burn. And down he goes. Okay, that was a bit tougher than I expected it to be. There's still something watching me. Goodbye, my dear. Well then, seems like we're gonna go in guns blazing or bow blazing. How the hell? There's no... How do I... Hello? I can't even grab onto that. How am I supposed to get up there? Oh, never mind. Sold my own question. There we go. What the hell are they blowing up? To the right, to the right. No, to the right. There we go. This is a really stupid way to get over there. And well. No drop. Thank you. Supply crate always welcome. Explosions in the distance. Pay that no mind. Doesn't concern you. What the? That was a strange answer. More. 
Yes, of course! I think they know where I am. Oh shit! That might not have been my best. Jesus! I think he's down. Yeah, you all burn. I'm getting really, really smooth at this. And there we go, about six scrappers done for. And I should really start equipping those health potions, because otherwise I'm just gonna die. At some point. At some point in the future. But that was rather nicely done, if I do say so myself. Because stealth is one option, but this is an option as well. We'll do stealth uh, on the next one if it's uh, doable, but... I do like uh, a few good scraps as well. Which is fitting, since we just killed a couple of scrappers. Getting close now. Head for that ridge. I am. Oh, for fuck's sake, I don't want fire kill root. I want medicinal herbs. You'll see it when you reach the top. Now be ready to act fast. You need to get in and get it done before they raise an alarm. Here we go. Here we go indeed. Gonna be a bit of a longer episode if I time this correctly. I see the legs of a tall neck down there, but no tall neck. Damn. The transmitter's been moved. Ah, fuck. Check down the ravine to the left. Only place it could be. So much for your insider knowledge. Toward the explosions. Great. You got exactly one shot at this Aloy, so spare the sarcasm and make it count. You see that bridge over the ravine? Yep. Memorize its location. There's a repel point on the side. That'll be your way out. Okay. Eclipse troopers? Avoid them or kill them, your choice. The blasting should cover any noise you make. Find the tall neck and destroy the module on top. Huh. Here we go. Is she gonna drop down for me? I think she is. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so if I... Whoops! Hi! So I think I can kill this guy as well. There we go. Nope. <laughs> that is, um, is fighting up ahead? an ungrateful way it's to die. A mining operation. So long as you're quick, it won't affect you. Oh, good. As There's long as you're quick, it won't affect you. The hell is this? What is this place? A distraction. There are several data points. This armor. There's only one man big enough to wear this. Helis. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff here this as well. Is a shelter? Not exactly fancy. What do you expect of a yet a man who languishes at sunfall, extravagance is coddled by his mother? So he will never learn the true lessons of his son. want to stub him. I have tried to instruct him, but the shadow of his mother's influence is upon him. I took him to the palace balcony to behold an offering of sacrifice in the ring. But he showed no thirst for it. He averted his gaze. Look to the sun, I told him. Do not shield your eyes. In all things, it is absolute. One day, it nurtures life, and the next, 
scorches life away. It burns the skin of champions and wretches alike. Never does the sun show pity. That is the example a Sun King must follow. The example of your father. But before my instruction could take hold, she was there, clutching him to her robes, burying his face against her breast. How is a king to rule when he cannot even see? So, was Helis an advisor to the king at one point? Let's continue doing this. My lord, the 13th king of the Karja Sundom was murdered. Cut down by cowards who mistook firm rule for madness. Ever the strong are beset upon by the weak. So he said, as the traitors launch their assault, as their cannons forged by Asaram filth topple the battlements and burst the gates. I would have fought to the end. But it was his will, the will of the sun, that I lead the prince and queen into the west, to safety. My lord did not hesitate. He saw his fate. He looked into the sun, and he did not blink. With me, he sent kestrels, nobles, sun priests, and slaves. Killing all that stood in the way, I carved a path to Sunfall. There, we joined others to gather the strength to take back our home. But our strength only faded until the buried shadow was brought to light. Interesting. So, Helis was the advisor to the previous king, clearly. Chosen of the Sun. When I first set eyes on the buried shadow, I trembled. Was I not the Chosen of the Sun? A blazing light of faith to shred and scatter darkness? Was it not my place to destroy this devil? But High Priest Bahavas instructed me in the prophecy and set right my frame of mind. The murder of the true Sun King broke the cosmic cycle short of completion. A whole world cast into darkness, doomed. To resume and turn the wheel of time would require more than sun and faith. All forces must combine, all halves of nature joined to one cause. Shadow to sun, night to day. Even a buried shadow wants the wheel to turn, for without a sun in the sky, there can be no shadow. Okay then, he's starting to lose his mind without pity. Never does the sun show pity. And yet, when my wife died in birthing, and in dying into the life of my child unborn, I pitied myself. My lord sensed this. But instead of casting me down for weakness, he cast upon me a radiant beam of honor. He ordered my kin buried in the sacred caves reserved for royals and heroes. Unimaginable. Never again would I doubt that I am the chosen of the sun. Never again would pity find a place in me. Not for myself or another. Okay, and then we have this one. Why? When sleep refuses to come, I think of our wedding night. How you welcomed me to the marital bed. How after, when you fell asleep, I lay there watching your delicate face. For all its beauty, I detested its... fragility. A rage swelled up inside me. I abhorred that bed. How its softness threatened to swallow us up. And that room, the stench of incense, the fine embroidery of the drapes, all of it weak. I slipped from the bed, threw open the casement, and lay naked on the stone floor, determined to spurn all seductions of comfort. But when I woke the next morning, you lay beside me, naked as I in the cold. Your body stretched beside mine seemed chiseled from stone. I saw you wake, instantly alert, like an animal ready to strike. You said nothing. You did not have to. 
Already you had shown me beyond doubt that we were meant to be. Yeah, clearly he found the woman of his life. And I think this is the last one. I haven't checked this one yet. Prophecy. Every morning, I wake to the same nightmare. The same reality. Holy Meridian in the hands of profligates. Debased. The spire towering above the horizon like in a glittering spike through the center of my mind. Every daybreak in exile is a mark of failure, but the count of days runs thin. I will see Meridian retaken, the profligate slaughtered, a true king restored to the Mesa throne. In this, I have become an instrument of prophecy. Okay then, that was everything if I'm not mistaken. Because that's the armor and all the other things we've checked. Painted imagery on canvas elements to include a representation of Meridian and Karja religious detailing. Can I check that out? A mural of Meridian and the spire. Holy Meridian. That's how he sees it. And his destiny is to win it back. Push! Okay then, that's also a first in this game. He's a fanatic, all right. Single-minded. It gives him a focus that you seem to lack. Now how about finding that tall neck? It would not have been easy to drag the tall neck down this path. Why bother? Just find it and get to the top. Destroy the module and then get out fast as you can. Sure is a lot of blasting up there. Sounds busy. Busy enough not to notice you, let's hope. I hope so too. I'm just gonna keep going, because I can't save anyway, again. What the hell? All these parts on the floor are making me nervous. I see it. They've built some kind of structure around it. Climb it. The sooner this is done, the better. I don't like Seems easy enough. Feels wrong. It feels like it's building up to something. Just get to the module and destroy it. Why? I feel like something is wrong more than anything, because silence is really pushing everything here. I don't know why I went up this ladder, because I clearly can't do anything there. I don't really even need to climb it. This is... Oh, I'm really suspicious. This is building up to something I don't like. Or I'm not gonna like. Or something like it. Oh god. Still can't see what they're do- Oh, oh! This is another Horus. That is a problem. I see the module. Good. Now be quick. They're this awakening. This is Hades. Aloy, this is not the time. It's a metal devil. Open the module's casing now. Aloy, do as I say or all is lost. Why don't I suddenly trust him? Okay. Uh oh. That is not good. Entity has come here. Hello, Hades. Entity miscalculated. Entity. Cannot destroy me. I am beyond its reach. Maybe you are. But this isn't! Goodbye, Hades. Oh, and now every single destroy eclipse is gonna know where we are. Uh oh. Okay, do I need to do anything? Uh -oh. Oh wow. That's gonna hurt. Wow. That's some arm strength right there. There goes the tall neck. Keep running! Oh running, 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 running. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Brave trail. 
Yeah, indeed. This is very reminiscent of, of that. Yeah, I don't know why think? you're getting all poetic about it. What do you think I'm doing? Taking a nap? Oh, gold, oh, gold, oh, gold. Oh, gold, oh, gold, oh, gold. Oh, gold, oh, gold, oh, gold. Jesus Christ. Ow. Thanks. Thanks for that one. Can I eat I while on this it. thing? Uh, what? Ooh. Run! Come on! Oh shit! Got it! Almost there! Oh yeah, right. The the thingy, the thingy, the thingy. Oh, oh shit! Yeah, I noticed. Where's the bridge? Where's the bridge? Where's the bridge? There's the bridge. There's the bridge. Bridge in sight. That's the way out. I know. Oh, rappel down. This doesn't seem like it's gonna. Oh, yeah. That was me in a waterfall. Well, that was adrenaline filled. Okay, then. Wow. That hurt a lot. Uh, now we know where Hades is, or is based in. So that physical red thing is actually just a swarm then. And that's why it's a physical entity. But we have a lot of work ahead of us. If we want to destroy that thing. Rough going, but you survived. You knew Hades was there and you sent me to him? I won't deny I risked your life. But it was the only way. Now, with the focus network down, we can both get what we want. Access to the secrets of Zero Dawn. I'm past trusting you with secrets. Good. That means you're wising up. Trust is for fools. It shifts and crumbles like sand. A poor foundation for any partnership. But mutual self-interest... Now that is a solid bedrock upon which you and I might build a new science of understanding. We both need answers, Aloy. And thanks to you, we're on the verge of grasping them. It's a very Sunfall. irrational way of thinking about trust. We'll speak again. Sunfall, that is interesting, because that's... Miserable. Damn him. Yeah, indeed. So that's where the, um... Oh, I know, I know, where if those poor people live, right? be rid of you, Silence, I would. But we both know I need it. Sunfall it is. Crashed the Eclipse Network. Deep secrets of the Earth. Ooh, things are heating up. And I love it. But I'm gonna finally take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And uh, when we get back, we're gonna continue on this lovely part. So uh, for metal. thanks again enormously for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video or series. Goodbye.